Yule will try the three and get it and get fouled. Mike, he can make himself a part of this ball game with great one-on-one -on -one offense. Howard intercepts the pass, the Dayton transition. Greavy's posting up for the three. My, how quickly things can change. Walker loses the ball and it comes to Robertson, Gladden on the chase. The Dayton fans trying to rally their troops, Greavy for a three. <laughs> Norm Greavy's third three-pointer. Zager goes into a zone. Well, oftentimes what players will do, Jack, is try to go to the baseline, get behind the defense. It's very difficult to find them. Knight with a three-pointer, he's got 21. Walker oh, steals yeah. it from Knight. Big play. And missed the dunk. Good defense by Gladden. Knight gets oh, it to go. God. Springer goes by Walker as he was looking for help. Yule with the jumper. Bill Yule off the bench with 10. And the Dayton fans and the Dayton players go crazy. In their second year in the Midwestern Cup. Pull off some upsets in the NCAA tournament. Really on a roll. What a ball game for Jim O'Brien. The Dayton fans celebrate. It's the Big Ten Defensive Player of the Year. There's the pass inside, and Corbett got it to go. And originally knocked that ball away for Illinois down at this end. And now the other end, beautiful pass inside to Corbett with the bank. Carbondale, Illinois, getting his first basket of the night. And at the other end, a tying basket. Relentlessly, the end of halves. Exactly one minute to play as Miguel Knight hits another three. Lead by three. Dayton is the number nine. Oh, beautiful pass inside from Springer to Robinson. What a pass. Miguel Knight. Boy, does he attract the crowd. Corbett for three. Big. Now they're putting the pressure on and come up with another steal. And suddenly Dayton is up with an eight-point lead in the basketball with less than ten minutes to play. Wide open is Springer. Another three, and Dayton is blowing this one wide open. Dayton in front of Illinois. He needs to hit at least one of them. Of course, the first end of it. There's the big one. That's all that Dayton wants to do is get the ball in. When the clock starts, when somebody touches it and Kaufman intercepts it, P.J. Bowman, no, he don't think, I don't think he got the shot off anyway. He did not. And so Dayton will win it, 88-86. And Kaufman comes up with the ball, but he couldn't get it to Bowman in time for Bowman to get the shot off before the buzzer. What a great finish as the Dayton Flyers have upset the Fighting Illini from Illinois, 88-86. We'll be back in a moment.